In the previous video, we covered some of the editorial basics. Let's move on to the next aspect of editorial workflow – trimming. We'll first start off by looking at the ever-popular role functionality. The role tool is active when the cursor is in select mode. When it comes to rolling an edit, you need to be conscious of ripple being on or off. You also need to be aware of where you place your cursor prior to attempting to roll an edit. If you place your cursor at the head or tail of the segment, the cursor will indicate a segment roll. I will ensure that ripple is turned off. When you click and drag, the tail of the segment is rolled but it does not lock the cut. This means I'm creating a gap in the sequence. This behavior will be familiar to Final Cut Pro editors who use the selection tool to edit a cut. The same applies to the head of a segment if I was trimming the head frames. If Ripple is enabled, then as I drag the tail during the segment roll, the segment will get shorter and the following shots will close the gap. This is also like it works in other editing programs. I'll turn Ripple off. If you place the cursor over the actual cut between the two segments, you will get a different type of roll cursor. This roll cursor locks the tail and head of the segments. If you click and drag the cut, this will perform a transition roll edit. Just so that you know, if you want to trim multiple cuts on different tracks at the same time, you need to command click the cuts first. When you start performing the trim, all the selected cuts will trim by the same amount of frames. The same function will apply for multiple selected segments. The next trimming functionality we will look at is Slip. You can change the mode of the cursor by accessing the pull-down menu and selecting Slip. Hover the cursor over the center of the segment you wish to slip and the cursor will change into the Slip cursor. You click and drag to the left and right and the source footage will slip within the edit. Once you are done, you can switch the cursor back to select mode. You can also use the S keyboard shortcut without changing cursor modes to slip a segment. Hold down the S keyboard shortcut and clicking and dragging on the segment will slip the footage. One final tip is if you hold the S keyboard shortcut, you can use the left and right arrows to incrementally slip the source footage in the segment. The final trimming functionality we will see is Slide. One last time, change the mode of the cursor by accessing the pull-down menu and selecting Slide. Hover the cursor over the center of the segment you wish to slide and the Slide cursor will appear. You can click and drag to the left and right, and the segment will slide in the appropriate direction in the sequence. Once you are done, you can switch the cursor mode back to select. Once again, you can hold down the slide keyboard shortcut and slide the segment without having to change cursor modes. Please be aware that a lot of this functionality is still under review and incomplete. Further revisions will be made available during the pre-release trial at a later date. In the next video, you'll learn all about applying and working with transition effects in the sequence.